Hey guys, Mike here, and I am not at Lightning Boy Audio today. I am in my garage at home because of COVID-19. And if you're not home, then you probably should be too. Tonight, I'm freezing out in my garage. It's at most 37 degrees Fahrenheit in here, so I can see my breath right now. I don't know if you can, but oh, it's, a, it's a cold one. So I'm going to try to get through this. Now, what I'd like to do here is a demo of my 2020 instrument transformer. Now, this is right here. It's a little box that I consider to be fairly versatile. You can use it in a number of different ways, but its main intent is to add some harmonic coloration to your signal. Now, how you use it is going to pretty much dictate how much harmonic coloration is involved. If you have humbucker pickups or split coil pickups feeding directly into this, you're going to get the most coloration from pickups. Uh, single coils are going to be really, really clean going into this to the point where it might not even make sense to even use this thing. But really what I was thinking when I came up with this idea was that you would put this between each of your pedals to, you know, multiples of these to give you uh, more of a studio-like signal chain. In the studio, you have all this pro rack gear, and if it's a nice studio, it's going to be transformer-based gear. So... From one piece to the next, there's transformers involved, and oftentimes two transformers between each piece. So you have like an output transformer from a compressor, which pairs to the input transformer of an EQ, and then the output of the EQ has a transformer. There's just tons and tons and tons and tons of transformers, you know? All that stuff really adds up to a beautiful sound. So this little box is going to be selling for 99 bucks, and... You could just use one, you're going to get a little bit of color, but if you have a whole bunch of them, you're going to really add in a whole lot of nice, even order harmonic distortion. If you know anything about harmonic distortion, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I have a previous video about harmonic distortion. You might want to just go back through my videos and you'll find that. It's difficult to get these things to distort though. So the idea that I had is that you would be using a, like a booster pedal to feed into this to create saturation of the transformer. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do here a little bit later on. Now, I only have two of these here. Unfortunately, I can't get, you know, back to work and uh, do a proper video right now. So this is what I got to work with. I'm going to try to do a, a just worthy demo here for you. I hope this works out. If it doesn't, then later on I'll come back and redo it. But for now, this is what I got out in my... Uh, you know, garage at home with the most bootleg recording setup that I could do and, uh, and still try to do a decent job. So bear with me. I do thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Now let's get into this. I'm going to actually start by just playing my bass through this old Ampeg B15 from 1964. I'm going to do that just straight into the amp to give you a, a reference point of the sound. And then I'll follow up with one pass with a single 2020 in the signal chain, and then another pass with two of them. And then I'll run through it with an overdrive pedal boosting uh, in between those two cha uh, transformers. And then I'll just remove the transformers and we'll hear the distortion alone so we have a final reference point. <laughs> Thank you. 
stay healthy, my friends. Bye.